All right, so let's look at this video lesson today. I wanted to discuss my, uh, some thoughts on what pedals and knee levers that you use in combination. Now the two most common pedals and knee levers that you use uh, on our steel we have an A, B, and C pedal. And that's on the uh, majority of the guitars it's gonna be like that. On some guitars, uh, the common thing now, or the new thing to add, or one of the new pedals, is they have a zero pedal. And I have that on this particular guitar, or the Franklin pedal. So uh, most guitars though will have three floor pedals, A, B, and C. Now the way we're thinking this today, or what I want to show you is that one of the really common combinations will be your A pedal and your F knee lever. Now on your knee lever setup, most of the time that E to F, or the one that raises four and eight, will be on your left leg going left. So you push that knee lever that way, and that's normally, on most guitars, that's the one that raises four and eight. Okay, now where we get into a little bit of uh, differences on the one that lowers four and eight, the ED flat knee lever. So there's two school of thoughts there. There's a an Emmons setup and a Showbud setup. Now normally on the Emmons setup, you have that ED flat knee lever on your left leg going right. And then on the Showbud setup, you have that ED flat knee lever on the right leg going left, which is how I have mine. So there's no, to me there's no really real school of thought or really pros or cons on that. It's just what your guitar come with and maybe what you're used to. So let's look at how you normally, you're gonna roll your A pedal over. And what I mean by that is, is you pivot your foot this way. And that helps you also, if you have that E to F knee lever on this left knee going left. So when you roll over with A, you can also engage that knee lever easier. Okay, so one of the most common moves if we're in a key of G on our third fret using that knee lever is three above. So if you go three above, play any of your major groups and engage the A pedal and F knee lever, you have another G, just another inversion of G. So to me, that's a real natural move is to have that F knee lever on your uh, left leg going left. And also that is a real common move or licks are achieved by combining your A pedal and your F knee lever. Okay, so that's... Okay, so that's one of the reasons a lot of the guitars will be set up like that. Now the other knee lever pedal combination that's really common is to use your B pedal and your ED flat knee lever.
Okay, so again, when we pivot or roll our foot this way, either setup you have, if you have that ED flat on your left leg, that's great. If you have it on the right, going left, that'll work too. So these are the most common uh, combinations that you'll come across on the steel. So with the F knee lever and the A pedal, you're normally thinking major. You're going from uh, our third fret with those, any of those major groups is a G. So when you go up three frets, one, two, three, to our sixth fret, engage the F knee lever A pedal, you'll have just different inversions of G using the same groups. So what you want to practice on too, if you're uh, just getting started, is trying to time those moves. So when I arrive here at the sixth fret, I have that A pedal F knee lever down instantaneously when I get here. Okay, now the B pedal and E to E flat knee lever, we're uh, normally thinking or in terms of a seventh chord. So again, the one of the good things about the steel is once you learn those groups, those major groups, and if you don't, just it, just for for instance, if you don't, it's ten, eight, six, five, four, three. That's what I'm referring to as the major groups. So if we're in the key of G, the chords are G, C, and D7. Uh, normally that's three chords out of a G, G chord song. Now on that third chord, the D, we have the option of playing a seventh formula or seventh type chord. Now we can, we can achieve that right here at our third fret by pressing our B pedal and then engaging that E, D flat knee lever. So we can go from G, note pedals, then if we press A and B pedals down, we have a C chord. Now the last chord in the progression is a D or a D7. We're gonna play a D7. We can press our B pedal, E, D flat, knee lever. Back to G. Okay, now we'll use those two knee levers and pedal combinations together. Okay, we can play some real pretty voicings and chords simply using those two pedals and those knee levers, those two knee levers. So to recap, we most of the time in, in conjunction, you use your A pedal and you'll use your F knee lever together. And also the other combination was simply using our B pedal and our ED flat knee lever. Now, the most common way to think of the F knee lever and A pedal is simply a major chord, three frets up. So if I'm playing out of the key of G, I want another G chord, I can achieve that by going up three frets, playing my F knee lever, A pedal with any of the major groups. And then when you start doing the slides, and what I mean by that is this, 
you start achieving the steel guitar or the pedal steel guitar sound because that's totally unique to the steel is the ability to slide those up like that and, and engage those pedals. So you can work those pedals and the knee lever both here at the sixth fret. This is working the knee lever. Okay, this is working the pedal. The knee lever is in, just working the pedal. And that's engaging both of them at the same time. So you can take a very simple concept and, and come up with licks doing that type of voicings. So you can either just simply slide from your third to your sixth, engage A and F at the same time when you get there, or you can, even after you arrive here, you can work that knee lever in and out. leaving the A pedal down while you're just doing the knee lever. Or you can leave the knee lever, the F knee lever in and work the A pedal in and out. Okay, so there's some licks you can work on with that. Now the other one that was to recap is the B pedal and the ED flat knee lever. That is normally uh, voicing a seventh chord. So it just happens to be here at the third fret, we're getting a D seventh chord. So you can use that if you have a, if you have your A and B pedals down at the fifth fret, that's a D chord. You can slide that back two frets and engage your B pedal, E, D, flat, knee lever. That'll give you going from D to D7. Same concept. Now I can work that knee lever in and out. Here at the third fret and, and come up with a lick like that or a different type forcing. Okay, so let's see what it would sound like holding the knee lever in and engaging the B pedal in and out. So the same principle works with that combination. So that's another thing that makes the steel so unique and everybody's thinking different and approaching it different. So just with those two pedals, two knee levers, you have two different ways to incorporate that, or really three, you can go directly to the chord you want and engage both of them. Or when you arrive at the, your uh, point that you want, if you're using the A to F, it's at the sixth fret, you can work the knee lever in and out. Or you can work the A pedal in and out. Okay, with the E, to e flat knee lever and the B pedal, here at the third fret, you can arrive at the destination there at the third. Engaging both of them at the same time. Or you can work the knee lever here at the third fret, leaving the B pedal in. Or you can leave the knee lever in and work the B pedal. Okay, so that's how you come up with your licks and your own style and what you think sounds the, the best. Also, you may uh, consider too, like it depends on the song. If, if the song is like a real, uh, maybe like a inspirational type gospel song or something that's really uh, quiet, you may not want as much movement. You may simply want that sound more with a, like a slide. All right, 
so I hope this gives you some things to uh, maybe work on and think about. Again, the most two, the two most common pedal and knee lever combinations uh, to me are my way of thinking of is the A pedal, F knee lever, B pedal, ED flat knee lever. Okay, and we simply looked out of the key of G for our examples. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this and let me know what you think. All right, hope you enjoyed this lesson and you can hit the subscribe and like button. We'd appreciate that. If you want to get notifications when Jacob posts new material, you can hit the bell icon. Also, now we have an opportunity for you to support us here monetarily on our YouTube channel by hitting the join button and you can check that out. We'd appreciate that. Also, uh, some of the materials that we have, and we have quite a few videos up, that have tab and backing tracks. Now you can access those by clicking on the card or the link in the description, and you can support us on our Patreon site. If you uh, wanna check out any of the equipment that we're using, you can go to the Amazon link in the description. That'll get you over there. And as always, uh, Jacob and I just appreciate you. Appreciate you supporting us here on what we're doing and keep picking.